everyone, I'm Lori with Behavior Education as Spirit Keeper Animal Sanctuary. Welcome to our very first edition of Species Center Stage. I have chosen Morelia carinata, the rough-scaled python, as my first species that I am spotlighting in the center stage for our Thursday shows. His name is Song Growl, and he is right behind me. He is looking at me very intensely, and he came about halfway across his enclosure, but he has not chosen to come out. And since we do choice-based handling and choice-based interactions and cooperative care here, unless it's an emergency, I'm not going to intrude into his face and take him out. He may or may not choose to come out later. He just shed, and I will include a couple of pictures of him sitting near his recent shed. And so I would venture to guess that he is hungry and he is seeking food and probably anticipating that I might be interacting with him to feed him. And the reason he hasn't approached closer is he doesn't see the target and the training equipment. And so he's kind of sitting there wondering why I'm interacting with him, but I'm not doing a target training session. Most of the material I've included in this video has come from the More Complete Carpet Python by Nick Mutton and Justin Julander, which just came out in 2022 but I'm also going to list some additional resources in the YouTube description so you can check that out at the end of the video. And those sources are gonna include a couple of other YouTube channels and a few other books and resources that I found online. I really recommend checking out Girl with Scales. She did a video about the Morelia Coronata last year or the year before that I quite enjoyed and I would recommend that you check that out. I also know that Morelia Python Radio has done an episode about Morelia Coronata, so I'm gonna include resources like that in the YouTube description. Please enjoy the video. The taxonomic designation of the rough scale python is Morelia carinata. Phylogenetically, it is in the Morelia clade and a sister lineage to carpet pythons, Morelia spilota, and to green tree pythons, Morelia viridis. Rough scale pythons are brown with cream colored irregular marks or jagged bands, and they have no black pigment whatsoever on their bodies. The shades of brown can vary and can lighten and darken within a few hours, and this is likely dependent on their environment. Rough scale pythons have a wide head that is distinct from the neck, which appears narrow in comparison to the head. They are very thin bodied in general with a length ranging from about five to six and a half feet or 1.5 to two meters. They can also open their mouths really, really wide displaying a wide jaw gape and they have the largest anterior maxillary teeth of all python species. As is probably evident to you from their name, rough scale pythons have keeled scales, like those of a bull snake, a hognose snake, or a rattlesnake, just to list a few examples. They are the only python species with keeled scales. Rough scale pythons are semi-arboreal and saxicolous. They live in dense rocky gorges close to fresh water sources and generally become active after dusk, and they remain active throughout the night. They use trees, branches, rock crevices, ledges, rocky areas in general, mangrove swamps near watercourses, and sometimes are found near fruit-bearing trees. Observations suggest they may remain active throughout the year. The rough scale python is native to Australia and only found in a remote area in Western Australia that experiences temperatures that range from 20 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 10 degrees Celsius, up to 108 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius over the course of the year. Like most snakes, rough scaled pythons are both predator and prey. They eat small mammals and birds, but they may in turn be eaten by large birds of prey, large monitor lizards, snakes larger than they are, or by feral pigs, which are actually invasive to Australia. The IUCN has the rough scaled pythons conservation status listed as least concern, but because of their extremely small natural range, they're likely vulnerable to severe weather events and wildfires, as well as invasive species, such as the aforementioned pigs and cane toads.
Our rough scale python sun growl caught on very quickly to target training. This is a view from inside one end of his habitat. He's in that lizard net and I'm asking him to target just off the edge of the lizard net and towards the end of the enclosure where I'm standing. And he doesn't have any problem with this. He learned this so quickly, even as a baby. Let me get rid of the tripod and show you a different angle. So this is that spot that I had the tripod on. This water container was gone and I had set the tripod there on his hides. Now the water container's back. I need to fill it with fresh water. I've cleaned it and he's finishing his meal. So I'm gonna set the tripod on something outside of his enclosure and see if I can't give you a better view of what he looks like during his second repetition because he's amazing looking. Love this snake, he's very cool. This is Morelia carinata, a rough scaled python. So I've opened the other side of his enclosure, some growls enclosure, and I'm going to see if he would like to target this direction so that you can get a better view of him. He's probably wondering what the heck I'm doing because I asked him to target across to the other side of the enclosure and now I'm asking him to come back this way. He always does a really great job with his targeting. He usually has good impulse control. He usually thinks through things. He's, he's always been a good learner since I got him. He came from Ralph Polinski at Midwest Serpentarium. And I've just been happy with Song Growl from day one. He picked up the training really quickly. He's just been a fantastic snake. He is a fantastic snake to have both to work with as a trainer and just as a family member, as a pet. And he's gorgeous. I love his deep, dark chocolate brown color really cool snake, really cool species if you're not familiar with them, Morelia carinata. So look them up, do some research, use your brain. Tell me what you learn about them in the comments. The fast facts I shared with you at the beginning of this video, I got from the More Complete Carpet Python by Nick Mutton and Justin Julander, which is my go-to resource for Morelia. They're obviously called a rough scale python because they have keeled scales and they are the only python species with keeled scales. Really cool. Feels like touching my bull snake, Rodney. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Our rough scale python, Song Growl, ended up not coming out to visit. I think he wanted to do a target training session and eat. But one of my corn snakes, Nissa, wanted to come out of her enclosure, as did TC, my super dwarf reticulated python, and two of my Morelia Bradley are out and about roaming around. So I have plenty of snakes out, even though Song Growl chose to stay in his enclosure and just look at me out the door. Until next time, everybody, please remember to always be kind and love your animals. <laughs>